was very disappointed, in fact. Be but on the other hand, I wasn't disappointed because I think the men in Nigeria are backward. They should go and look at what is happening in other countries, in South Africa, in Uganda, in Tanzania. You will see that affirmative action is taking place in those countries. And the women, you know, have their share. After all, women are 50%, if not more, of the population. So why should they be excluded? And we know what the disadvantages of women are. Because they're homemakers, they do not have the capacity to go out and source for in business and make the kind of money which men make. And let's face it, if you want to go into politics, you need money. Yes. And this is why other countries have affirmative action, which we have refused. Tell them that they should stop portraying Nigeria as a backward country that is still living in the Middle Ages and not living in the 21st century. Mm. So you think they should consider that ITEC? Oh, definitely. And women should be given that 7% affirmative act? Yes, definitely. I hope so. Maybe not in my lifetime, <laughs> but I hope so. That a woman can become a president. Maybe. Yes, why not? I mean, let's face it, are any of the men who are there now better than any of the women yeah. who are in politics today or who are in the professions? They certainly are not. A lot of women are far better, have better brains than they need. Mm. I don't know whether you're going to a well, I didn't do well, because at least the economy was not in the same shambles as it is now, <laughs> with a man in charge. I mean, what kind of country do you have different rates, about five different rates of exchange? Mm. I mean, it just encourages you know, round tripping, and that is what is sending the economy down. Then look at the current um, interest rates charge, and you expect people to start businesses with that. When America had their problem, they lowered interest rates, I think, to 1% at one stage even. Mm. And that's how people were able to borrow money and build businesses. Mm. But you have made it difficult. You say you want to create jobs. You have made it difficult for people to do business. And therefore, they have all gone away to places where the atmosphere is more conducive to doing business. Mm. Well, I'm not sure AD can come back be strong, but one can never tell. It all depends how they organize themselves. Mm. That's easy. No, 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 no. I think maybe you don't understand. The Yoruba Unity Forum is the umbrella okay. body formed by a chief, Mrs. Awolowo, and the late Omni of Ife to bring all the Yoruba organizations under one umbrella. So Afeni Ferry is a member of the Yoruba Community Forum. Forum. There's Afeni Ferry Renewal Group, which was a group founded by Tibungu when he wanted to break up the AD. And that is another group altogether. So you mean Odumaki, all of them, is you laughing. But what it is... No, uh, Odumaki uh, is in the Afeni Ferry proper, okay. which is a member of the Yoruba Unity Forum. Okay. It is the Afeni Ferry Renewal Group that is at the moment outside, but we are trying to bring them on board. But I think Odumaki is in the Renewal Group now. It's not. No, no. It's not. Well, I'm not sure that there's a problem with the Yoruba. But I think there are some people within Yoruba who, because of their personal interest, 
and not thinking of the overall interest of the Yoruba as a group. And therefore, they have come away and are working with other groups outside the Yoruba. Well, I cannot know whether he loves Yoruba or not. All I know is that he loves the Fulanis and the House of Fulani. Mm. Mm. Well, all I know is that when we were in the Senate, the Senate was always full. But now when I look at the television, I find that people in the Senate. People are not in the Senate. Yes. So All the seats are empty. Three quarters of the seats are empty half the time. And I just wonder what's happening. Hmm. So what, what do you think is happening? Is it, is it, okay, most of them are not always sitting. Okay, yes. most of them are just... I mean, the house is not full indeed. Yes. So are you saying that they are not really serious, they are not serious with what they are content to do, well, or what they are voted to do there, or well, they are not taking their job serious, or we should make them part-time, or they should just... Well, be... personally, I believe that they should be part-time, because from what I'm seeing, I don't think it is a full-time job, and they're taking it as a full-time job, those who are there at the moment. Mm. Some people, yes, 